Hey, are you ready for the thought for today? So I was laughing a bit before this, you'll see why. So yesterday we had the first part of the burden of proof. I did not know when I was starting it was going to be two parts, but that's what we ended up with. And we were asking the question, who's got the burden of proof? The speaker or, oops, almost lost the card there, the hearer. And assuming you agreed with me, assuming you even watched it, um, we said we have to reframe the question. The question really is, who's got the burden of proof? The accuser or the accusee or the accused? And I, I just like ease. So the accuser or the accusee, the accused. And we agreed, and you're about to see why I laughed. And we agreed, didn't we, that the burden of proof is on the accuser. But that's not how you spell a burden. I got, you can see I had it right on the first card, right? Did not have it right on that card. Uh, and by the way, if, in case you're interested, there is such thing as a burden, would be U-R-D-O-N. Um, it is a pilgrim staff. So if you ever need that word, you now know because of my misspelling what that is. So tonight is Burden of Proof Part 2. And as you apply what we studied in Part 1, Let's say somebody tweets something, posts something, or even just says something, and you go on social media and you say they are a such and such because of that. Or maybe you retweet something that accuses them of being a such and such. Or maybe you tweet a link to a, a, uh, an article that causes that accuses them of being a such such and such. I can't talk tonight. At a minimum, you have taken on the role of a prosecutor. And guess what the prosecutor has? We talked about it yesterday. The prosecutor does have the burden of proof. I would, I would also argue you've probably, at that point, when you start joining a mob and going after somebody, and who knows, maybe you were the first to, to do it, but you go on social media and you go to take somebody out, you've probably not just been the prosecutor but you've probably taken on the role of judge and jury too. Judge and jury. And again, as a prosecutor, you have the burden of proof. How much more if you're gonna take on judge and jury? And if you go as far as to say, what they did was so horrible, fire them! Fire them! Then you've taken on the role, I would argue, of the executioner. And if you think about it, if you're going to execute somebody, metaphorically, then you've got to admit, the burden of proof is truly on you. As we wrap up the thought for today, how about this? In everything, treat others as you would want them to treat you. That's Jesus, and that's the net translation of the first part of Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. In everything, treat others as you would want them to treat you. I don't think you want the executioners coming after you. I don't think you like even being, whoops, find the card. Where are we? Where are we? I don't think you even want a prosecutor to come after you without really good reason. So take that into account when you're using social media or otherwise in life. Treat others like you would like them to treat you. That is the thought for today. I love you. I will see you again tomorrow.